For this color morphing experiment, we're going to be using bromothymol blue to determine if different liquids and solutions are acids or bases. So this is bromothymol blue, 0 0.04. We'll be using baking soda. We have water in these two, orange juice, and then this is our bromothymol blue. This is what it looks like before being mixed with anything else. We'll also be using a measuring spoon, and we'll need a funnel, a container to mix our baking soda and water in. So the first thing we're going to do is mix some baking soda into the water. I'm going to grab a separate container and I'm going to use that to mix everything in. I am using one teaspoon of baking soda and I'm not being very particular about the amount that I use. I just want to change the pH of the water. So I'm going to pour the water in and give it a little shake. Here I'm adding the baking soda and water solution into the vial. Next, I'll be adding the bromothymol blue solution into the baking soda solution, and then we'll see what happens. Bromothymol blue acts as a pH indicator, so if the solution turns yellow, that means it's an acid, and if it turns blue, that means it's a base. So let's see what happens. So the baking soda and water solution turned blue, which means the baking soda is what? An acid or base? Next, I'll be adding the bromothymol blue to the orange juice. It appears it turned a darker shade of orange, so does that mean it's an acid or a base? Next, I'll be pouring bromothymol blue in vinegar. As you can see, it turned orange, so does that mean it's an acid or a base? Next, I'll be experimenting with static electricity. I'll be using a plastic spoon, some salt and pepper, and a wool sock. I'll be rubbing the wool sock with the plastic spoon and then hovering it over the salt and pepper. Here's what it looks like up close. For this part of the experiment, I'll be using a dryer sheet instead of a wool sock. Even though I used friction, I wasn't able to create static electricity. Why do you think that is? For this sink or float investigation, we'll be looking at whether peeling an orange has an effect on its ability to float. For 
What are your predictions? Will this orange float? If you said yes, you are correct.